Hello and welcome to a very special edition of Fudo Camera Company on YouTube. We have a very dear friend uh, of mine, Vladimir Hazan, a photo historian, a lover of Minux, of Exacta, of Zeiss, and all things photography. And Vladimir, um, it's such a pleasure and an honor to have you here tonight. Can you tell us a little bit about what you're going to uh, be bringing us through here in these next few months? Yes. Hello, everybody. And uh, I'm glad to participate in the project, this project for uh, Kudo Company. And uh, it is my pleasure to communicate with Ben all the time. Uh, today, we will start. Um, I will introduce the, the project that uh, I think will include several presentations about history of photography. Uh, this is a very interesting, I think, very interesting project because I decided to, um, to, to follow the, um, the history of photography from the very beginning. And so, the very beginning yeah. is not uh, when um, Sia Daguerre made his uh, legendary speech in front of the um, French Academy of Sciences. Everything has begun much uh, earlier, and uh, um, it was, uh, it is actually reflected on this front page. This front page you can see now on your screens is the front page of my uh, first presentation. Uh, I named it The Beginning, History of Photography, The Beginning. The Beginning is uh, because this person is Chinese scientist Mosey, who described uh, Camera Obscura a long time ago, before Christ. Uh, then uh, Al Hazen, um, any relation to uh, you? Um, I'm not sure, but I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I think it's just a coincidence oh. in our last names. Um, he lived long time ago, 11th century, as you can see here, and uh, he lived in two countries, Iraq and Egypt, uh, and. Um, he actually did not create anything. He did not build anything, but he described a lot of things. And uh, he was able to show, as you can see on this picture, um, to show um, outside uh, landscape on the screen that was located indoors. And everything was available uh, because of little, because of the little hole in the wall, and you can see the viewers here in this room. They all are sitting in and uh, enjoying this view and probably wondering what is going on. How come this these buildings from the outside walk through the wall and um, are vi visible on the screen? upside down and um, flip left to right. Uh, so it's, this is about this person. Uh, Roger Bacon is a Franciscan monk and um, he uh, studied solar eclipses using the same idea, the same small hole idea. He held up the metal plate with a small hole up to the sun and uh, he saw the solar eclipse either on the ground or on the other wall of the room. Uh, and uh, so are the other characters that are here. You can see Aristotle, Euclidus, you can see um, Daniel Barbaro, here and uh, Giovanni Battista della Porta and uh, Johann Heinrich Schulze from Germany. Uh, they all were scientists and uh, they all were uh, very educated, highly educated people. 
Uh, and um, over here, over here at the bottom of the screen, you can see the uh, versions of Camera Obscura uh, from big room to um, movable Camera Obscura and a very portable device. So that will be my um, front title screen of my first presentation. My next, uh, that will be my presentation, first presentation. The next presentation will be about chemical era, chemical era that started with uh, uh, this person works, Mr. Uh, not Mr. He is German, so that there is another title. And um, uh, yeah, <laughs> um, and uh, he he actually proved that um, silver nitrate darken darkens not because of the heat but because of the light. Before before his works, all the scientists uh, thought that that happens because of the heat, but with his his um, experiments uh, made the ground level for photography and uh, his works started chemical era this person Nisifor Nieps he is the real father of photography I'm saying real because everybody thinks that uh, it's Monsieur Daguerre, but unfortunately, it's not. Um, uh, this person, the Sephora Nieps, uh, obtained the first photograph ever taken in the world. This is it. This is the photograph. You can see uh, some, some contours over here. Th this is supposed to be a view from his window. To take this picture, this photograph, uh, Mr. Fornieps had to wait for eight hours. Wow. For that reason, yeah, for, for that reason, all the shadows are messed up because the sun uh, did not want to wait and um, made uh, its regular, regular way across the sky. So all the, all the shadows here are messed up and uh, um, it was possible later using computers to find out how, what exactly uh, this person, Mr. Fornieps, um, wanted to uh, show. Then uh, we will talk about William Henry Fox Talbot. This, he is an Englishman. He is, he is a, not just William Henry Fox Talbot, he is Sir William Henry Fox uh, Talbot. And um, he was the first one who created a photographically illustrated book and named it The Pencil of Nature, right? Uh, different different versions of it are available, and um, uh, let me show you one thing that's very exciting. I think um, I want to switch my camera. Just one second. Here we go. Oh, this is the book. Yeah, this is the book. Okay. I love uh, the cover. Well, oh, <laughs> yeah, of course, this is not uh, the one that was printed a long time ago. This That's is uh, pre, pre COVID 19, pre uh, where everyone was together in big crowds. Yeah, everybody no uh, social distancing. Can, can talk, right. But inside this book, you can see the photographs taken by uh, Talbot. Using his, uh, using his camera obscura. I'm not sure if I can see. Mm -hmm. See the the resolution. 
yeah, it's really clear. Yeah. Yep. And uh, he showed in this book, he showed that photography can be used for different different uh, areas of um, um, art to illustrate, right? Um, again, resolution. Here is the picture. Oh, there's like this. <laughs> okay. That looks good. Yeah. Look at that broom. That's really high detail. Did they have any lenses, or how were the uh, what were the what was the lens set up? Yeah, we will talk about the lens, and we will talk about the diaphragm. Um, but yes, tell but look look at this. Look wow. at this resolution. Pretty pretty high resolution, right? For eighteen forty, <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And um, he explains how it's done. So That's this great. is the book. That's great. This is the book. Yeah. Vladimir, if we can go back to the screen share, it, it kind of threw my cameras a little bit out of whack, but I I was able to uh, to rebound here. You always keep me on my toes, Vladimir. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Okay, let me go back here. All right, Vlad, can you switch back to your regular camera, too, so uh, all the yeah, Kudo listen. camera subscribers can see your beautiful face? My beautiful face? You're on the uh, the camera, the desktop camera. Here we go. Okay, okay. One, one Vladimir, second. I know you're a Zoom wizard. <laughs> We've worked together before, too, so you can find Vladimir's presentation on uh, Minox um, <clears throat> on the Photographic Historic Society of New England uh, YouTube channel. So go over there and check out uh, Fisney, P H S N E. You can see Vladimir um, and a lot of other good presentations as well. Vladimir, you yeah, can go back to um, sharing your screen, and then it should rectify all the all the updates here. Here we go. Awesome. Okay. So all we got right. to see that pencil of nature. I like that a lot. So go on, yeah. Vladimir. We're we're back on the uh, we're back on uh, on frame. All right. So it was the first book ever uh, printed commercially in the photography. Photographic illustrations were used uh, for this book. Yeah. Our days. This project Gutenberg. They, they they do a lot, and uh, you can find this book online uh, under Project Gutenberg, and you, you can see all the pictures that I just showed you online. Oops, cannot open the specified file. Yeah, I accidentally clicked on this one. Hmm. Sorry. No worries. <laughs> um, then... The one of the next presentations will be about Mr. George Eastman. As you know, he created roll film and uh, he created the cameras and he created, he registered the company Kodak. You can see this camera patented in 1888. The box camera, uh, the price of it was $25 those days, which is a lot. And uh, to, to make it popular, because his idea was to make photography available for little kids. So he made another, he, another camera that looks exactly the same as this one, but uh, the shutter is much easier, much um, not as complicated than this one, as this one, and uh, that was sold for one dollar. Hmm. A lot yeah. less than the twenty-five dollar price tag. 
Yes. And uh, his idea was to um, make a photography to uh, allow kids to print photographs for less than two dollars. So they, they can use, they could use this roll film, this camera, and, and as you can see the logo, you press the button, we do the rest. That's the Kodak famous logo. Mm -hmm. And um, yes, uh, everything was done for less than $2. Over here in this uh, bottom uh, area of the screen, you can see uh, different sizes of roll film that was available. Nowadays, we have um, 120, which is six centimeters. And uh, there are many cameras that still work on uh, use that film. Um, six by six four and a half by six and six by nine. All these numbers are in centimeters. Hmm. Uh, yes, uh, then um, uh, I will talk about, I will pay special attention to this wonderful company, Zeiss Icon. Uh, it's a huge company, it was um, um, established in 1926 in Germany. Uh, it was the largest company in the world producing uh, photographic cameras and uh, it has uh, had different names. No, the, the same name, but different logos, sorry. And um, uh, they produce different cameras. As you can see, these are kind of simple cameras, but these are already range finders range finders you, you can see um, uh, the cameras um, right now i can show you a couple of cameras again i will share the screen and um oh my god oh it's here it's on top now okay one second let me share the screen and um here we go so this book i will remove and um as you can see this is more simple camera all right and this is about the same, but this is already um, the camera that has uh, a range finder, right? They both are four and a half by six. Can you see both of them? Um, no, they need to move forward a little closer to you, a little closer to you. Yeah, and then uh, and then uh, I can kind of see them a little bit to the left. Yeah, yeah, there you go. We'll have to take a real detailed look at them when we get into the Zeiss section too. You know, like I said, you're really keeping me on my toes with these different angles. I know I didn't know you had these cameras here, but <laughs> but I'm looking <laughs> forward to seeing a closer view. We'll be you and I will really get our, our practice together because we're going to be doing this. Um, it looks like monthly, right? We're going to try to do it. Uh, we'll record on the last Friday of each month, and then I'll post it up on the channel within a day or two. So yeah, once a month, we'll go through each of these different topics, and <clears throat> and uh, we're gonna yeah, really get to go over so. some, everything in detail. So this is really good. Um, yeah, yeah, and I can tell you even more. This one is the camera uh, that my father taught me how to photograph wow. this one. That's great. See, it's I, not, I, I don't think exactly, I know how to use that at all. It's not, well, it's, it's very easy. You turn it, then you uh, advance the film, right? And you view here, 
So you watch the numbers here for brain numbers, and then you just uh, push the button like this. Beautiful. Yeah. So this is my first camera. <laughs> uh, it's not exactly that same camera, but it is it is the same. Right. The 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 one that I had I broke when I was ten. Oh boy. I kept I kept clicking, 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 and finally the poor camera, it was about 28, 28 years old by that moment. <laughs> it, it broke finally. Oh um, boy. Yeah. Vladimir, we got to get you back on screen here. I don't want to see the camera anymore. I want to see you. I'm, I'm missing you. I'm missing you here. You're missing me again. Bring, bring us back, Vladimir. Bring us, bring us back. Okay. I'm really looking forward to these, uh, these presentations, though. So our first one is going to be on Friday, uh, May 28th, which is just um, about a week away, almost a week away. You and I will record. And then, um, and then we'll post it up onto the YouTube channel within a day or two after that. So, yep. So the idea here for tonight was to do a nice little introduction, and you've given us a sense of the different presentations that we're going to expect over the monthly basis. And are you is is the Zeiss uh, section going to be done in one presentation, or will it be more than one presentation? It's, it will probably require more than one because uh, Zeiss has a very long history and a very eventful history. Yeah. They, they created many cameras, and those cameras are beautiful. I think so. Well, this is going to be really exciting, Vlad. Um, are there any more slides to go through, or was this the last one? Yep. No, it's not the last one. This uh, we will we will talk about Leica as well, and uh, again the person who is responsible for Leica invention is Oscar Barnack. Uh, he he was the inventor and photographer. He lived in Germany. Unfortunately, he died pretty young, um, but uh, he was able to create very uh, interesting camera. By that time, it was considered a miniature camera because he used um, cinema film, which is 35 millimeter film. And uh, his first creation was th uh, 31, 31 uh, cameras. You, you can read all the screen and um, uh, he he was the one who created Leica, and um, Leica started actually the professional photography. Okay, that's how it happened a long time ago. Then uh, we are going to talk about single lens reflex cameras. Um, it is unknown for sure uh, who was the first, whether this one or this one. This one actually was first, was the first one, but it was made only 200 of these cameras before the war, and then Nazis started bombing and um, uh, siege uh, Leningrad uh, and of course there was no time to create more cameras but Exacta was created in uh, Germany and um, uh, but one one year after this camera named Sport was created Exacta is a very interesting camera it's made probably for left-handed people because the uh, lever to um, uh, advance the film and uh, <laughs> and work with a shutter is on the left. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So 
that's about it. That's my uh, project. Uh, so the, this project will probably end on um, SLR cameras, and uh, we will we will talk about SLR cameras, and um, we'll I'll show you many other other things. Oh, what happened? It switched to the I, uh, desktop camera. And, and I, oh, okay, so it's this one. Okay. So, so Vladimir, I think this is a great uh, opportunity to tell people what to expect. So uh, all the uh, Kudo Camera Company subscribers we have, we've reached over 300 subscribers now. So I think wow. uh, the last video I did, we were at about 225. and. Um, I took a few, I guess, a couple months off. I've been, I've been so busy just doing packing and everything here in the shop. But luckily, I, uh, you know, you and I were able to collaborate on this, and and this is going to be a really fun way to keep me engaged and to spread the knowledge of, of photography around the world. And and uh, what you're putting together looks really incredible, Vlad. So, can you tell us one more time about the first presentation that we should expect? You know, you and I are going to record it. Um, like basically next week, I think, or the 28th. Yep. So can you tell sure. us one more time a little bit about that, and then we'll say good night. Sure. Uh, before I will tell you this, I, I can give you some numbers too. My first presentation that I did for uh, FISNI, for Historical Society, about Minox was viewed by two more than 270 people. Great. Right I love that video. Yeah, yeah. So um, we will do a lot, and I hope many people will enjoy our presentations. I usually show cameras what I have only. Vladimir, uh, sorry to interrupt, but I do want to say um, while we're on the topic of your last presentation, I'll put a link to your presentation down in the description of all of these videos so that anyone who wants to check out Vladimir's Minox video will have just one click away. So check that out. And Sorry, go on, Vladimir. Okay, thank you, Ben. Uh, so I will talk about the history, and uh, I will show, demonstrate some cameras that I have. Um, most most of my cameras work, uh, and uh, well, they click at least because they're pretty old. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not sure how they uh, are they light tight or not already. Um, so that's about it. The, the first presentation will be about the beginning, about the beginning. So everything. Can you go back we, to that slide so we can see it too? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So we will talk about all these people, all these people. And uh, we'll talk about their... Um, contribution to photography and we'll see we'll actually see the experiment that uh, Schulze did he was a professor at the uh, university so he did a very interesting um, experiment and uh, I showed well of course I did not do this experiment but um, I did it on PowerPoint, and I think I did it successfully. Uh, everybody will see how the light causes um, silver nitrate to get darker. That'll be good. Can't wait to see it. All right, Vladimir. Well, yeah. for for tonight, why don't we uh, say good night uh, to to all uh, everyone who's checked this out, and we'll look forward to. Seeing you on the 28th, uh, so we'll record on May 28th, 2021, and then we'll put the video up within a few days after that. So uh, I look forward to that for everyone who wants to learn more about the history of photography. I think Vladimir is going to really open our eyes to uh, all uh, the, the real history of photography as far back as uh, ancient China, before Christ. So it's not all about <laughs> daguerreotypes, but we'll find yeah. that out. So. Actually, actually, it is a very interesting and a very difficult 
project because, uh, as you can understand, there is not a lot of information from those times survived. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> right. So, so it's yeah, it, it's kind of difficult to uh, surfing through the internet and uh, find crystals of information. Yep. Well, you're doing a great job, Vlad. So, all right. So, I'm trying I'll, I'll, to. Great work. Great work. Um, I'm gonna uh, fade you. us out for tonight, and Vlad, hang tight on Zoom, Vlad, while I while I sign us off, and I will catch up with you in just a minute. But for everyone else, uh, please subscribe and be ready to, to learn about the history of photography starting at the beginning, and we'll go through the decades. Uh, so we'll see you soon, and until then, have a good night. Take care. Good night.